All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to connect and remove bank accounts in QuickBooks Online. So we're in, this is our user interface. We're gonna talk about this more in the next video just for the sake of this tutorial. Let's go ahead and connect to our bank accounts. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is go over here on the left-hand side, click on banking, connections. You can bank on, I am a Chase member. There it is, I can click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and sync up my bank account so it's gonna run I'm not a robot okay I'm gonna fast forward through this stuff for the sake of the tutorial I'm connecting my personal savings and personal checking this is not a business bank account but you would want to do that with your business select it's gonna be the same difference whether it's business or personal and sometimes you might want to run your personal through your QuickBooks online. It's always good to see your personal budget. What did you spend at the end of the month? We're going to talk about more about adding and syncing transactions later. But it is a great way to see how much beer you bought or burritos you bought or video games you bought. This is my savings. This is my checking, just like that. We're going to connect this. This could take a few minutes. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Okay, we are good to go. And do not mind this. Your balances should be up there. I am broke as a joke. Uh, QuickBooks tries to sync their stuff up with their categories. It's kind of like an autopilot. Uh, don't worry about this right now, though. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about this, how to categorize our income, expenses, or equities in the next couple of videos. But for the sake of the tutorial, we have connected to our bank account dashboard. It should show up right about here we're good to go say you want to disconnect or remove a bank account and whether that bank account got closed maybe you just uh, went out of business and started a new business for whatever reason let's go ahead and remove a let's remove our checking account let's go ahead and remove our checking account so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this gearbox right up here go to chart of accounts chart of accounts now we've got our savings right here I do not want to have my savings account in QuickBooks online what I'm gonna do is click on action right over here and let's go ahead and just click delete this account has a non-zero balance deleting this account will cause adjusting transaction to be created is this okay yes it is we want to get rid of this account completely now let's go back to our dashboard and we should just have the one account situated right here in the top right that's it all right guys that is how you connect and uh, remove bank accounts in QuickBooks Online. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to talk about the user interface. And after that, we're going to talk about adding and deleting and uh, syncing bank transactions in QuickBooks Online. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.